The United Nations investigation has found gross human rights abuses in Burundi and has asked for an urgent investigation. The report was published on Tuesday and details gross, widespread and systemic human rights violations by the government of Burundi and people associated with it. Hundreds of cases of alleged summary executions, targeted assassinations, arbitrary detention, torture and sexual violence have been found. Let's speak to Christoph Haynes, who is one of the contributors of the report. He joins me live from Johannesburg. Christoph, many thanks for joining us today. Describe to us what these Thank human you. violations are in a bit more detail. Yes, so the investigation uh, took place uh, in the first half of this year. We're just presenting our report now. Um, and we had investigators on the ground. We visited Burundi ourselves. Those are three experts, one from Colombia, from Algeria, and myself. Um, and uh, we find that there's a wide range of widespread uh, human rights violations, extrajudicial executions, tortures, enforced disappearances, um, freedom of expression, and socioeconomic rights. So we're very concerned about the impact of this on the population as a whole. Uh, you say the government is uh, largely behind this. Uh, why do you think this is going on? What is motivating this sort of behaviour uh, from the government and people associated with the government? Well, there seems to be a very fierce political contestation. Um, the government has on its side also um, a youth group in Murakure who works with them. Um, and uh, the, the, it was triggered really by the, the question of the, of the so-called third term uh, for the president, um, which uh, was considered w widely by the population to be uh, in violation of the constitution. Um, and that really triggered the events. Um, and now it seems to be something which is patterned and which is uh, in, in a way then the retention of power uh, that is behind it. So what are you calling for? What kind of action are you calling for? Well, the, the first uh, uh, um, recommendation and the first point of action is directed at the government in terms of the use of inflammatory language, in terms of, of using uh, the security apparatus uh, to uh, go after opponents, um, the, intra the, 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 the dialogue that has stalled really between the government and its opposition. The first uh, responsible party is the government itself. But we also uh, call on the African Union, the East African community, the United Nations to take steps. The most immediate will be a continuation of what we've done as an investigation into a formal uh, commission of inquiry that continues uh, to investigate, to monitor the situation. And then we also ask for, for steps higher up within the UN. I know the government has already rejected your report. What have the African Union or the UN, what have they said? Is there anything that's going to come out of this? Well, um, from the African Union side, they had a, a commission that went a mission uh, in December of last year to do similar investigations to what we've done. They also came back and said that the situations are widespread. They call for a tribunal to uh, hear the individuals. Um, there are different approaches within the African Union, but I do think what we are suggesting lines up with what the, the main human rights body of the African Union has said. You also suggest in your report that this could potentially spread out from Burundi to other neighboring African countries. What do you mean by that? Why would that happen? Well, there are already almost 300,000 refugees outside Burundi uh, who fled since April of last year when the crisis started and around 100,000 uh, internally displaced people. So in terms of its spillover into the region, that seems to be a real danger. And then, of course, the ethnic tensions that are prevalent in Burundi are also prevalent in some of its neighboring countries. Um, and they seem to influence each, each other. And for that reason, we think it's not, it's not only an issue of domestic concern, but uh, it's an issue of, of regional concern in particular, and then, of course, an issue of international concern. OK, many thanks for that. Christoph Haynes, uh, one of the contributors of that UN report into gross human rights abuses in Burundi. Many thanks for joining us.